Hello, I'm Barry de Graaf, a channel evangelist at Cinecore. Today I'm going to show you how to extend your Zimmer 9 with custom functionality. To get started you should download a copy of Zimmer 9 from our website and request a trial if you don't have a license yet. To do this go to Zimmer.com, click Downloads and go to the Network Edition Downloads. Here you will find Zimmer 9 for Red Hat, CentOS, Ubuntu, uh, Linux. Once it's installed, uh, you can go and look at the UI and see the functionality that's there. You'll notice it's a whole fresh UI, it's responsive, um, and it works on tablets, phones, desktops, you name it. For this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another menu option to this menu bar on the top. Right now it has mail, contacts, and calendar. What we're going to do is we're going to create uh, another simlet. Uh, that will create a button here. A Zimlet is a, a piece of JavaScript that uh, is basically a Zimra extension. So to get started we go to the github Zimra slash zm simlet guide which is a getting started guide to get um, you up and running and writing your first Zimlet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install a Zimlet side loader. I will explain what the side loader does in a couple minutes. But first we go to our Zimmer server and install it. So on uh, CentOS or Reddit like uh, Linux, you would do yum install Zimmer Simlet side loader. And for Ubuntu you would do apt install Zimmer Simlet side loader. And uh, it takes a couple seconds and then it's installed. So next thing we need to do is we need to ins uh, restart the uh, Zimmer mailbox. I'm just going to copy paste this. So restarting the Zimmer mailbox service, it uh, can take um, what, some 20 seconds to a minute if you are uh, depending on your hosting environment. Uh, but I, pay, I pause the video there for a sec, you know, so as soon as you don't have to watch all that. But don't be worried if it takes a little longer than a couple seconds. So next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the side loader Zimlet is enabled in the in the class of service. And uh, I know that my account my account is in the default class of service, so I'm just going to verify that it is indeed uh, enabled. To do this, I go to the Zimmer admin UI and navigate to the uh, class of service configuration and click Zimlets and all the way down there we see it's available and enabled. So this is a step that I always do to make sure it's, it's actually enabled as to we don't get any surprises down the road. The next thing I always do is I go to the accounts, manage accounts, and I'm going to use the admin account for this demo and make sure that the simlets there also show that the side loader is enabled and available. So that's all good in this instance. I'm now going to show you the Zimmer 9 UI. The Zimmer 9 UI is uh, responsive, so it should work on your tablet, your mobile phone, or on your desktop, just in what I'm doing right now. And you'll see that there is a mail, a contacts, and a calendar tab. So imagine you have a company and you want to have a, uh, a custom tab here to, to serve out some custom content to your users. For example, an internal website or maybe a new uh, website, something like that. So that's what we're going to do in this demo. I'm just going to add a uh, simlet, which is a Simbra extension, which shows up here and shows an iframe with an external website. And I'm going to use windy.com. I really like this website and I always use it when I you know, go outside for running or skating you know, to, to see how hard uh, the wind is going. So right. uh, going back to the uh, simlet guide, this we did. So what we need to do now is uh, install Simlet Clean. Simlet Clean is a, is a tool that helps you to develop Simlets and to package to them and to debug them. So this uh, installation steps, we don't, we're not doing that on the Simlet server, we're doing that on our local machine. So I'm just uh, going to open up another terminal and that goes to my desktop. So um, I have a little bit of 
difficulties typing my password. Sorry about that. I need to install Node.js and Zimit Cli. So that's what we're going to do. I already did that, so that's quite fast. Then I'm going to do npm install dash g Zimit Cli. And it always takes a couple minutes, so I'm going to pause the video while that runs. So Zimit Cli is installed. That means that we no longer need a root access, so I'm going to just type exit. And I'm just gonna go back to a normal user account. Uh, I think one of the greatest features of Simlet Cli is that it has the ability to work with templates. So you don't need to start from scratch every time uh, you, you write a Simlet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the template that's uh, part of this guide. And that just basically also includes the tab that we need. So I'm just gonna create the folder to contain our work. Oh, it's already there, so I'm just going to make sure it's removed first. And uh, create a new simlet. So what this does is it fetches uh, a template from uh, zimbra.com slash zimbra slash zm dash simlet dash guide. Uh, this is all explained in the, in the guide. But it's a bit long to dis discuss in this video, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna copy paste it now and don't think about it too much. Again, this also takes a couple uh, 30 seconds to a minute to to install, so I'm just gonna pause the video while it does that. So that's successfully uh, installed the dependencies and the Zimlet template. Uh, I'm just gonna go into the directory of that uh, Zimlet that was just created, which is called my test. And I'm gonna make sure that um, all the placeholders for name has been replaced with my test by running these commands. And done. So next thing we can do is we can build our Zimlet like that, and give that a couple seconds to run. And that was quite fast. And then we can actually run it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to start an npm development server. And to do this, we need to run the simlet watch command. Now you'll notice that I'm using a specific uh, trick here to change the host name of the npm development server. I'm doing that as to use uh, SSL certificates. It's not really necessary, you can just run simlet watch, but it is explained in the guide, so if you want to know, just scroll through that. It takes a couple seconds to build. And then it says compiled successfully, and you can view the application in your browser. So this URL that contains the template simulate that we just downloaded. I'm just going to open it, and you'll see that's just a blur of JavaScript. So what can we do with this URL? Now this is great because this URL we can use it with the sideloader simulate, and we're going to do that right now. So if you go to this um, UI, you can type at the end of the URL, slash sdk, slash zimlets. This is the UI for the, um, for the site loader zimlet. And you can copy paste the URL right here. So I copy pasted the URL from this simlet watch command right here. I'm just giving it any name you want. I'm just going to name this thing test and click load simlet. So you'll notice that there's a button in this UI that just popped up. So the great thing about sideloader simlet is that um, the the simlet we just loaded is only visible uh, from this computer and for for me. So whoever is on this server, if it's more colleagues working or maybe if you're working in a team, I'm the only one that will be seeing this simlet that I just sideloaded. So we can just click this thing, and it's gonna give an error message, but it's not a problem. We're gonna we're gonna change that. Uh, other than that, you know, everything stays the same. We just have that tab with that button there, which just came from our template. So what we're going to do, we're just going to leave this running in the background. And we're going to open up Visual Studio Code and open up that folder that we just created with the uh, simlet click command. So I'm just going to do folder, uh, file, open folder. And I'm just going to navigate to my home directory 
uh, simlet course and my test. My test is the name of our simlet. Okay. So this will give us um, the source of our simlet. Uh, the first thing you want to click is the index.js. That is basically the, 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 the main source file for our simlet. So what you'll notice is that it imports stuff from uh, Preact, you know, Zimbra components and stuff like that. Um, there is a style sheet imported. And various components are initialized. Now if you want to know how this works exactly, I suggest you just uh, read through the ZM Zimlet desk guide because this has all the information that you need. Um, you notice that a lot of the uh, React and Preact developers, they use Visual Studio Code because it has syntax highlighting and it has snippets and all that. Um, I suggest you look into it, it's also in the guide how to do it. Uh, but uh, most important thing is that the uh, root index.js, it contains um, references to all the uh, Preact components that were the simlet is gonna load. So you notice there is a function router. This will uh, create a, a route. So when I click on the UI and click on my test, you'll notice that it will actually go to a location that is slash my test in the browser. So that's basically what this little piece of code does. Because slug is just a constant. Uh, that is my test. Other than that, you'll also see that there's an exports.init and plugins.register. These are actually the places in the UI that we want to hook into, that we want um, that we want our simlet to show up in. So how does this work exactly? Is uh, that simlets, they can show up on specific places in the UI. To know where those places are, you go to to SDK slash simlets and you can click on the link here that says show available simlet slots. So if you click that you'll see that everywhere in the OI little um, sticky notes basically show up with names in them and th all those names are places where you can stick a simlet in. So there is in the settings everywhere you see they are there and these things stay visible until you remove the or reload the screen so those are the slots that you can use so you see plugins that register I have a slot in use that is called menu there is a route slot the route slots is the thing in the top here and um, well I also use a more menu but we're not going to use it for this simlet all right, so routes. Let us check. There is a router slot. Um, uh, as you can see here uh, in this command, there's plugins dot register slot routes router. So where does this came from? So the moment we did the SDK slash simlet trick here and we did simlet slot slow show there's also invisible uh, slugs and those are actually available in the uh, browser console so you see all non-visible simlet slots are logged in the browser console you don't see them in the UI the most important non-visible simlet slot is routes routes is the thing that sits on top of the uh, in the address bar here so you notice that if I click on the my test simlet, it actually goes to the my test route. How does that work? Well, we registered that we want to use the slot here, and we put in the word router. That router actually, if you ha click on it, then Visual Studio actually sees sees this and says to you, it's a local function router, which basically means it is this thing that sits here right here. So the only thing that local function does, it returns this thing. And this is a Preact component. It is a syntax uh, like this. It means app. And it actually tells us that the path is slash my test. Because this is just a constant that is loaded 
and I'll explain that in a sec. But this component, if you double click it, you'll actually notice that Visual Studio highlights it and it says it's a class app that came from an import. So if you scroll up in the top there, you'll actually see there's an uh, app component loaded from a file in components slash app. So if I click on that in the, uh, in the source tree here, I'll see that there's a components app index. So uh, summing up, this import loads the index.js from component.app. So where does this slug tim came from? Well, we can just highlight it again and see if Visual Studio, Studio, yeah, Visual Studio Code will also highlight it up here. It says import slug from constants. So if I go to contents, uh, constants, there's an index.js and it actually says only one line. It says export constant slug my test. All right. So that's basically what lo loads uh, our tab. So now we're going to take a look at the, uh, uh, the app component. So again, that's in component app index.js. And you'll see that this is a very basic uh, piece of JavaScript. So the only thing that it actually is, is a uh, preact component. And it returns a piece of static JavaScript, uh, which uh, is an iframe um, with a some CSS. So actually I misspoke there. This is because this is not JavaScript, but this is um, just HTML basically. I could also say it's uh, JSX. So there you can put components and uh, variables in here. Anyway, at this point uh, you can see that this, uh, this URL is not correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the uh, embedwindy.com I'm going to copy paste it right here and I'm just going to save it and you'll notice that it will just keep running and if I go to the UI and reload you'll see that it will just start working and there we have our weather sim lab so what else is interesting to know um, this iframe has a class style.wrapper that actually came from this import. So we should be able to find our uh, style in the same directory as the uh, app component. And the only thing that it does is, is um, put a width and height of 100% so that uh, the iframe is exactly as uh, it fills the whole screen. So that's uh, how to create your first simlet. I hope that uh, that was all clear. If you want to know more about the details of how Preact works or how this simlet is actually, um, how these components are actually working, that is actually explained in full in this guide. So just scroll through it and I hope that uh, with all the information in there that will get you started. Alright, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.